Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor a great West Tennessean and a dear friend of mine, District Attorney General Phil Bivens. After more than 25 remarkable years, Phil Bivens is retiring from his post as District Attorney General of Tennessee's 29th Judicial District, which covers both Dyer and Lake Counties. Since 1992, Phil Bivens has been the consistent voice of law and order in his community. General Bivens is a lifelong resident of Dyer County and a graduate of the University of Tennessee at Martin and the University of Memphis Law School. Throughout his career as a prosecutor, General Bivens has handled some incredibly important cases, and he has earned a reputation for being fair, honest, and by the book. In 2016, General Bivens was elected to the Executive Committee for the Tennessee District Attorney General's Conference. Serving in this respected leadership role, he has advised the Tennessee General Assembly on issues related to the criminal justice system. When I was the United States Attorney for the Western District of Tennessee, I also served Iron Lake Counties, so we worked together very closely. We worked together to tackle dangerous crimes, drug crimes, and most recently, General Bivens has been instrumental in combating the growing opioid crisis that is really hurting West Tennessee and certainly the entire country. During our time together, I saw firsthand General Bivens' strong work ethic and dedication to making West Tennessee a safer place. General Bivens is a true public servant. In addition to being known as a prosecutor, he is also the voice of the Dyersburg High School football team. General Bivens spends far calling some of the most thrilling high school football games in the nation. In summary, General Bivens is a real West Tennessee legend. And while he may soon no longer be our district attorney general, I know that he'll never stop working to make his community a better place, just as he has his entire life. I'll always be grateful for the time that we worked together. I wish Phil Bivens, his wife Barbara, and their whole family the best as they begin their next exciting chapter. And thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back the balance of my time.